is my solar powered sailboat dehumidifier. So I just have the fan here, a little computer fan, hot glued to a funnel, stuck in the rear drain port. And I have the uh, drain hole up on the deck there open so air can escape that way. And the advantage of this being outside is it's solar powered and it only blows when the sun is shining. So when it's cloudy or raining or dark and humid outside, it won't be blowing any air inside. So the only thing I need to do now is protect this guy from rain. So I cut the bottom off of the milk jug and that fits nicely over here. There's underneath my cover, this little um, strap will go here. I figure I'll put a zip tie around that to hold it on. And that holds it on pretty well. Now this opening is bigger than the opening in there, so I figure that's probably going to be plenty for airflow. If I wanted to, I could cut a bigger opening here, but I really don't think it's going to matter much because we're, our main limit is that little guy right there. This is the port, the drain port on the top of my deck. And I'm going to put this piece of paper over the top of it. And you can see how it lifts up there and is blown up because of the air coming out. So presumably air is also coming out of the equalization port in the cockpit and any other holes I might have in the uh, hole anywhere. It's sunny outside, but shade from this tree is now covering the solar panels. As you can see, the fan has stopped moving. However, as soon as I pull it into the sun, the fan automatically resumes blowing. I've chosen a position in my yard where it will get the most sun in the middle of the day when it's hottest and driest out. All right, I knew that solar panel would be useful. Might have to get the dust off first though. All right, that's a pretty wimpy solar panel, 1.5 watts. So I'm not too worried about overvolting my fans. That's not gonna work. Let's see what I can find. 5 volts, 0.35 watts. Well, I actually might overvolt that guy. 12 volts, 0.16 amps. Well, that's getting closer. 2.4 watts. I might be able to turn that on with the sun. Okay, I'll leave a little bit of wire on that guy. In case I want to do something with plugging into a car motor. How much you want to bet the wire with the white stripe is positive. It is an amorphous panel. All I need is a little bit of voltage to tell me polarity. Nine volts! Ooh, and I guessed right. The white wire is positive. Remember, always unplug your soldering iron when you're done using it. Two random items from my shop. Will they do anything? The answer looks to be no. So it does spin in the sun. The problem is I need this thing to auto start. Otherwise it's not terribly useful to me. I guess I could go and start it once per day. And then every time a cloud came out. One panel will run the fan but not start it. So... More power. Second panel. In case you've wondered what's inside of one of these things with the light that blinks, it's a simple circuit board. It has a diode to prevent your battery power from going back out to the panel, which is good. It has a capacitor and a resistor and what I assume is going to be an LED flashy circuit under that little piece of uh, potting material. So it does have a um, diode to keep your battery from discharging through the panel. So that's good. I'm going to be taking that off because I'm just going through the fan. I don't have a battery to uh, discharge.
Okay, we have one fan and two solar panels. We're hoping that two solar panels will provide enough power to start this thing up. There it goes. So, let's see, even in the shade, there's kind of going. So in the shade, it won't auto start, but as soon as I put them out in the sun, off it goes. As with any quick and dirty project, my first attempt will be using hot glue to hold this stuff together. It's a little tricky because the fan plastic and the funnel plastic are both the type of slick plastic that hot glue really doesn't hold to super well. So I'm doing this more like dropping into holes and going around the edge of things. And I've set up a block of wood and a clamp to hold this in place because I don't want to hold it straight down because then all the hot glue is going to fall down in these little holes and um, get on the fan blade and keep the thing from turning well. So I'm going to have to do smaller sections at a time and, you know, hold it in such a way where any drips and runs will maybe run around the funnel but not drip into the fan. And so this clamp makes things easier for me there. I'm going to try to get some inside this hole on the fan so it kind of goes through the hole and hooks into things. And I'm being very generous with the surface area that I'm covering here. Like I say, that slick plastic on the funnel doesn't really have a lot of... Um, you know, I didn't hit it with a piece of sandpaper or something, for example. So if I'd sanded the whole thing down, this could be a lot better join. It doesn't have to be super good. It just has to hold the thing on against the airflow, which is not going to be a lot of pressure. Okay, that set of hot glue is dried. Now I can work on bits where I don't want it falling into the fan, so I need to do, like, running down the funnel as opposed to inside the fan here. I just have the panels set up on top here. They're pretty low profile, so I'm hoping the wind won't blow them around. I might have to put a strap over them or tape them down with masking tape or something. We'll see how they last.